In a previous video, I demonstrated how to switch out our multi-Wii flight controller with this OpenPilot CC3D. This thing flew pretty amazing, but in the video you notice there was a little bit of oscillation when flying, and that's probably due to this thing by default. It isn't configured for such a small frame. So in this video, we're gonna do two things. Set up our FreeSky Tyrannus for different flight modes and toggle between those modes, and then also using one of our control knobs actually this little slider knob for tuning the P gains and that'll be the framework for you guys to then be able to go tune your I gains or anything else. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you didn't see the setup video, just want to remind you that we have the orange cable going to channel 5, purple going to channel 6, those are the two that we'll use for flight modes and then in air gain tuning. On our Tyrannus we're going to use this three mode switch for flight modes. And then on the other side, we're going to use this slider for doing the P tuning. And it's really useful to use that slider because you can be controlling your sticks and at the same time using your other finger to adjust that. My previous Turn G9X, I used the knobs, but as you know, you have to take your hands off the stick to use the knobs. Okay, the Tyrannus side of things is pretty easy. We just go into page six and we're going to go down to channel five and I'll just go ahead and hit enter. Then we'll go down to source and hit enter again. And all I need to do is just switch, flip that switch, and you'll see that source has changed to SE. Hit enter, exit, exit again, and that's our channel five. Then we'll do channel six, go down to our source. Right there it says S2. I'll hit enter. You'll notice I'll go ahead and slide that and that changed the source to RS. So I'll hit enter, exit, exit, and now we have our channel five and six set up. And that's all we need to do on the Tyrannus side of things. So I've launched the OpenPilot GCS. My CC3D board is connected to my MacBook. And I'm gonna click configuration. Now that we're in the configuration screen, I'll click input. And to keep things super simple, I'm just going to start configuration wizard. We'll go ahead and hit OK. What we'll do next is we'll begin the configuration. So I'll click Next. And now we want to set acro mode. So that's good. We'll leave that. Mode 2. And now it's asking me to move my throttle stick. So I'll move the throttle stick on the Tyrannus. Now I'm going to move the roll stick. And you'll see that it picks up these inputs when I make the movements. There was our pitch. And then I'll do our yaw. It's asking me my flight mode switch, so I'm going to go ahead and toggle that because we configured that earlier. And then accessory zero, so we're going to use the slider to pick that up. And now it's saying accessory one, we're just going to click next. Accessory two, we'll click next. Now it's saying move all your sticks to the center. So I'm going to move my throttle to center, everything else will be centered. I'm going to move my Flight mode switch to the middle, and then our actual slider knob does have our center point, so I'll let that click into place to find the center, then I'll click next. Now it's wanting me to move them all to their maximum extents, so we'll get all their endpoints on our sticks and our switches. Hit next. And then we want to set our throttle to yaw ride, whatever you're comfortable with. And then I'll click save. Okay, now that our sticks are set up, I want to show you we're on the input screen. We switch to flight mode switch settings, and you'll notice if I switch my flight mode, I go from position one to two to three. Now these are the three stabilized modes, and you'll notice the different settings for each roll, pitch, and yaw input. So I'll let you guys experiment with this, but I'll show you a quick difference between the stabilized one and two versus three, because three is really where you're gonna see the difference. It's all in rate mode. And let me point out that what you're about to see, I have my responsiveness set kind of at the high end of snappy. Now this goes all the way up to insane. And I've flown in that, it's pretty un unreal. Just, I'll, I'll tell you that, but I'll show you the responsiveness and the different flight modes. Okay, so we'll take off in flight mode one. Now you'll notice the responsiveness of this thing is pretty insane. So you can see that. Very responsive on the sticks. Spin it around. 
Okay, let me go ahead. One and two by default are fairly similar. Let me go ahead to flight mode three, which is rate mode. And now you'll see that there's no real auto leveling going on. It's just super snappy, as they say. Not insane, I'm not in insane mode, but still. So that's flight mode three. And with all roll pitch and yaw axes set to rate mode, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to one so I get leveling. And then we'll go ahead and land. Okay, we're connected back to the Open Pilot GCS. Now I'm on the input screen and you'll notice that accessory zero is connected to channel six. And if you remember when we did the configuration wizard, we set that channel up. Now, you may be wondering why in the flight modes or on the accessory zero, we didn't have to set endpoints or anything. That's what we did in the configuration wizard when we set all of our different switches and sticks to their endpoints. The software picked up those endpoints, saved them, and that makes our job really easy when it comes to configuration. Okay, for gain tuning, we're gonna go down to this menu item called TXPID. And at the top of the screen, we're going to click Enable TXPID Module. And if we go down to Instance 1, we're going to start with the roll and pitch rate, the P gain for that. And as I mentioned earlier, there, this is just a framework to show you how to tune this. You have your I gains and your D gains. You can mess with all of those, but in this video, I'm gonna show you the roll and pitch P gain. And as you can tell here, you could actually set up more than one to be tuned at the same time. But for now, we're just going to start with that connected to accessory zero. And for the min, I'm gonna put in 0 0.002. And for max, I'm gonna point, put in 0 0.009. And I know this based on just reading through the wiki and some experimentation. And of course, we wanna save our settings. And you'll notice says after enabling the module you must power cycle before using and configuring so i'm going to power cycle my cc3d board so we power cycled the board i'm going to go to the stabilization input screen click on the advanced tab okay now on the advanced tab i'm going to go ahead and arm you can hear that we're armed now if you look at the roll and the pitch p gain i'm going to adjust the slider and you can see I'm all the way up and it's at about 0.009. Take it all the way down, it's about 0.002. So what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna take this in the air and get it to where there's pretty much no oscillating going on. And then we'll leave that setting, come back and save it. And we should be good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll start with my knob right in the middle. So that's middle point. We'll take it up and I'll show you how this works. Now this is such a cool feature. If you've seen my videos on APM and NASA, they both offer this capability, but I just love being able to adjust these gains with the multi-rotor in the air. It looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna crank the gains all the way up on the switch to 0 0.009. The switch is all the way up. Now you can see there's a lot of oscillating going on. So I'm just gonna bring that switch down a little bit. You can see that it's definitely more stable now. So let me give it a little acceleration. That's pretty good. Okay, you can see a little bit there. So I'm gonna take it down just a little bit more. And I'd say that's probably just about where I want to be from a P game perspective. So let's go ahead and land it and I'll show you how to save those settings. Okay, so we're reconnected. Stabilization screen on the advanced tab. You can see I haven't power cycled my CC3D as I understand it. If you do, you could potentially lose that setting. So my transmitter, my Quad are still binded together. The CC3D has not been power cycled. And you'll see that we're at 0 0.00348 for both roll and the pitch. Okay, now those values have been saved. Now it's a good idea to go back to your input screen. And for this item, accessory zero on channel six, I'm actually going to disable that 
just so we don't happen to uh, change our P gains accidentally next time we're flying. So go ahead and do that. Click save. It should be good. And another thing I recommend doing is just disabling the TXPID module after you get your gain set. Save that. Then you can always go back to your stabilization tab and you know make note of these values. When you set up your slider to adjust these, just keep keep note of them when you connect to your OpenPilot GCS because you can always go in here and modify these pretty easily, save them, and then test. So that's how you set up your CC3D for different flight modes and use the TXPID module to do in-air PID tuning. This was done with my FreeSky Tyrannus, but obviously many different transmitters can be supported to set this up. And as I stated in my intro video, I love the CC3D. It's been fun to fly, I'm learning a lot about it. I'm by no means an expert, but as I continue to discover things, I'll be happy to share them with you guys. And until next time, thanks for watching.